Hi, Pisces. This is Jeffrey. This is right color. This is your three card reading for the week of November 22nd through the 29th, 2020, 2020, 2020. <laughs> Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, press the bell for notifications. Um, I, I recently acquired a lot of subscribers and I'm really grateful. Thank you to um, Sheila at Celtic Tarot who featured me on her station. And um, I, for, due to that, um, I am offering 30 minute readings for $30 until November 30th. That's a lot of 30s. Okay, so I'm gonna get to it. One, two, three. Okay. Da -da -da -da. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. He's really, um, I like him. <laughs> so knights are about action. Um, look at this dude, look how happy he is. Look what a cool outfit he's got on. He's got a cool outfit on. Actually, out of all the knights, um, he's the strategic one, right? He's the strategic one. Some of the other knights can be a little weird. He's like, <laughs> he's fiery, he's a redhead. He's got that fantastic feather on his head, you know? Would it be great if we all wore feathers like that? Um, anyway. Yeah, so wands, and we have two wands out of the three cards. Wands are about passion. Wands are about passion. They're about creativity. Um, it's very fertile. You know, all the wands, I mean, they're very phallic, obviously, but they're all blooming. I, I, I There's always paint on my hands. You have to get used to it. Um, <laughs> I've had to. Um, can I see? I can see you. I, I really like your pajamas, by the way. Um, see? He's like enthusiastic. He's ready to like, let's get going. Let's get going. I got an idea. Let's get going. You know, I, you know, I want to do this. I, you know, I want to do this. Let's do this. It's good. It's good. And then you have the queen, right? You have two queens, which is even better. So when I get two, I combine Right? If I have two kings or two queens, or if I get the king and queen in the same suit, I combine them. So this one understands, this one's practical, and this one's passionate. Good. That's a really good combination. So this one really understands a budget. She understands how to make money. She understands when to hold back money. And she's very nurturing. There's something very loving and nurturing and motherly-like, you know, in a good way. You know, you know what I'm saying? She's very, you know, she's abundant. She's motherly. She's um, nurturing, but she's also frugal when she needs to be frugal. She's, she's also the type, like let's say you go to a bank and you, you have a business plan and you say, well, I need $10,000 for da, 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 da. She's the type I mean, she doesn't work at the bank, believe me. She lives in the garden. You know, she doesn't need to work at a bank. You know, <laughs> If you could be here, why would you want to work at a bank? Um, with these beautiful, weird blue mountains. I mean, you know. Um, she's the type to say, actually, I was looking over your budget, and I think what you really need is 12000 And I'll give you the 12000 but I would recommend that you, you know, cut the budget 20% here and add 10% more there or whatever she says. And you've also got the passionate one. The passionate one who's also who holds the staff, right? Anyone who holds the staff is in charge. 
right? In all ancient societies, the staff holder is the one who holds the power. It's the power of the tribe, right? It's the power of the tribe. She was, or he was endowed with that power. You know, I am the king, I am the queen, therefore we are staying here. We are going to plant this. We are going to war with this one. We are going to uh, stand our ground. We are going to retreat, whatever it is. Th that staff goes down and, you know, it's almost like it reverberates through a... <laughs> Maybe I saw that movie Earthquake too many times when I was a kid. So, you know, It's great to be enthusiastic, which is what you have here, but you also have this, this feminine energy and one is the great judge. So she's clear. And the other one is like savvy financially. So I, I, I feel like all that is coming together. The other thing is, um, Queens, all queens in the Victoria deck. <laughs> so I know a lot of queens. Uh, all queens in the Tarot deck are uh, about patience. They're all about patience. And it's great to have that enthusiasm and go get itness and let's take an action. And, you know, a lot of times I know for myself, you know, it, it's like, I take an action, it's like, well, you know, I, I did what I, I wanted to happen in 15 minutes. <laughs> and this idea for a building and it's, you know, uh, 50 stories high and can you have it done by the end of the week? <laughs> probably not, probably not. It might take a little bit longer than that, you know? Um, you know, like 10 days. <laughs> so it's important to really have you know, to have the enthusiasm, but to also understand that things take time, you know? And, you know, he, he just started taking action. So there's something you're passionate about and you, you wanna move forward with, and you're beginning to move forward with, and that's good, but it's also about refining the vision and refining the finance and refining the um, the creative plan and even and making a plan is very creative right making a plan is a very creative thing um, and it's so funny because you know when I talk about creativity I'm an artist so I always think oh you know you do paint or you bake or I don't know you work with wood you know I always think of something like that but it's not necessarily that you know accountants could be really creative um, bankers can be creative uh, you know there's all there's no such thing as people sometimes they go, oh, well, you're an artist. I don't have a creative thing in my body. And it's like, um, the way you complain is really creative. <laughs> we are all part of the creator. We are all part of creation. We are all humans and therefore creative. Just because it's not, because you can't sing a song, or play the drums, or et cetera, doesn't mean you're not creative. There's all different levels and ways, and uh, you know, the way you uh, put your groceries away is creative. The way you sleep is creative, you see what I'm saying? We all have our own, uh, I don't know, ways of expressing our creativity. So, you know, if you feel like, well, I'm not an artist and this meeting doesn't apply to me. You know, if you want to be on that boat, then be on that boat, but it ain't going anywhere. It ain't leaving the dock. So, um, yes, be passionate. Yes, move forward, but be patient with yourself and be patient with the process. Everything's a process and try to enjoy, even though, even though it's, you know, sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's like, well, I want what I want when I want it. I understand. So do I, so do I. Um, it's kind of like, uh, think of it as like relishing a meal. 
right? Let's say you went to like a really, really nice restaurant where they make really, really fine food. You don't want to, you want to like really chew it, and really eat it, and really appreciate the flavor and really appreciate who you're with. And, you know, like relax, relax. There's nowhere to go. You don't have to check your phone. I'm here with my friend or my friends at the meal. We're seeing each other, we're enjoying each other, we're enjoying the ambiance, we're enjoying the meal, we're enjoying ordering, we're enjoying the whole thing. Enjoy the whole thing, you know, be patient. Because, you know, the feminine element is about receiving. It's about receiving. That's why, you know, the element, uh, it, it's water, it's a vessel, it receives. So, that is my take. I wish you blessings. And if you'd like a one-on-one, -on -one, I am available through November 30th um, for $30 for a 30-minute thing, and a 30-minute reading. And I, we could do it on Zoom. And, uh, you know, I'll wear a different hat, I hope. And uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you. See you soon.